Our nation's fragile beginning is marked in the ground you walk on Jamestown Island. You can trace the footsteps of Captain John Smith, Pocahontas, and the settlers who gave their lives to build Britain's first permanent colony in North America. It's easy to imagine that adventure because the island looks much like it did when the colonists landed in May 1607. Eagles and blue herons soar over the woods and marshes along the island's scenic drive. Turtles sun themselves in the tar swamp, safer now than they were then when colonists ate turtles to survive starvation. And inside the footprint of the original James Fort, archaeologists bring those early years to life by uncovering the colonists' own tools and treasures. You can witness the moment of discovery of precious items that have been in the ground for 400 years. The Visitor Center's galleries will set the stage for 1607 by showing the cultures of the English, the Africans, and the Powhatan Indians before they came together at Jamestown. A variety of tour opportunities will help you to trace that contact. Learn from park rangers who have studied Jamestown for decades. Meet the archaeologists who will show you their work to find the items used by the settlers and Indians who made a life at the fort. The results of their work are on display inside a museum dedicated to the archaeological project, the Voorhees Archaearium. You will see the finds from 20 years of digging, helmets and halberds, dice made from bones, a crystal arrowhead, Powhatan pottery, and a slate inscribed with writings and drawings, possibly made by shipwrecked settlers. Enjoy lunch on the banks of the James River at the Dale House Cafe. Walk inside the brick tower from a 17th century church, the only above ground structure from early Jamestown that has survived. And as you leave the island, stop at the end of the Causeway Road to see the artisans in the glass house perform one of the earliest industries attempted on the island. You can join in the rediscovery of Jamestown, where America tells her own story in the hallowed ground along the James River. <laughs>